Alright, uh, hi everyone, Shirtlight here, and welcome to the fifth episode of The Overlay Bar. We got Dongo of the Echo Vengeance channel on the show. Hello. Hi. So, uh, what we got here today? What's, 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 our, what's our topics? What are we doing? I don't know, I usually just wing it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well, before we started, we, we, wing, we winged it pretty hard. I mean, we went on for like an hour before we realized, <laughs> oh, we have problems after recording. Yeah, she, we gotta record stuff, yeah. <laughs> So I guess we'll just go back where we're doing like uh, fucking Hollywood movies. <laughs> we're talking about how uh, yep. there there's some movies nowadays that are. Uh, well, we talked about how we were in a big stinker for a little bit, and then movies started to uh, are starting to get a little bit better. Thank God. They're not on. Uh... <laughs> I mean, Disney's still probably gonna put out some really shitty movies, but yep. Jesus. I mean, uh, they're too to get big now. to fail, yeah. So, it'll probably have uh, some inertia for a couple decades, maybe. Maybe they'll course uh, correct. Yeah, so they're going to be the last one to change, if ever. Yep. But, yeah, that's oh, pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need to go watch, again, we mentioned Bullet Train during that uh, past thing. Uh,. Definitely want to go watch Bullet Train, and I think I got some other stuff too. Um, got a whole bunch of older stuff. I think uh, one of the newer things I got. Let me really dig through what we got here. Uh, in terms of mecha stuff, I bought. I bought Zabungo, Orgus, uh, 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 and I bought a really. <laughs> Really scuffed version of metal, heavy metal Elgon, which I watched it on YouTube. I was like, I want to own this physically. I saw on uh, uh, eBay some guy was selling um, DVD rips. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh shit, okay, I think I'll go. Let's see what that's about. Um, like, really cheap, like 11 bucks. And <laughs> that sounds right. They didn't... Yeah, they didn't come with like a case or anything. It's so scuffed. It's just it's just a bunch of DVDs that have the words "heavy metal L guy" put on. It looks like some kind of creepy pasta <laughs> instead of written in black marker. It's like, yeah, this doesn't look sus as hell. Yep. Um, I haven't got a chance to watch them yet. That's gonna um, be some ring shit, you know. You open it up, trying to watch some video, on, and then the then the fucking wench uh, just pops out of your TV. <laughs> Finally, a female. Um, <laughs> female. <laughs> uh, <no>. female. <laughs> female. Female. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like the gay and was in from outer space. <laughs> and I love that reaction. It it has been like female. permanently inscribed into my brain. It's like. Female. Uh -huh. <laughs> Female. <laughs> in my house. Um, yeah, I also got some other stuff. Like, uh, there's a guy named Phil Tibbet. I think he's done some uh, 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 um, model modeling work. I think he does some modeling stuff for Star Wars. I know he does, does uh, um, stop work stuff. Um, and he made a movie. He's been making the movie for... Oh god, how long? I think over 30 years he's been trying to uh, make this movie called Mad God and he did finally make it and I bought that just so I can watch that at some point. Uh, Steel Bookcase. Uh, very interesting movie. I'm not going to say it's good from the looks of it. Very um, weird. Um, so I'll take a look at that at some point. So I saw some clips online. It's like, oh, this is very interesting. It took him 30 years. I'm pretty sure he put himself in a psychiatric hospital for a little bit because <laughs> the stress of working on this movie. So finally, some uh, some college kids came up and told him they'll help him finish it, and they did. So I'll definitely look at that. And I think what else did I have recently? Actually, I think that's the most recent thing I got. Oh, that's Mobile Suit Gun. I'm already watching that shit. And speaking of Gun, I guess I'll uh, ask you the uh, uh, ask you it again since. <laughs> We kind of went over it earlier, but uh, how do you feel about the uh, the, the Gun and Battle Operation Two PC port? Uh, I do enjoy, like when it works. It's it's pure fucking Kino. I'm I'm happy for it. It's like 
you know, the spiritual successor of Lost Clover Chronicles, Missing Link, etc., etc. Double A one Sankey, even though without the without the red head, you know, I'm detecting seven points from that, so it's gonna be yeah. IGN seven out of ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's Fun. weird because like it, it's very. Yes. In terms of gameplay style, it's so unique because you got so many different suits in the games. Uh, in the games, in the game, yep. uh, like grunts and not only just the Gundam units, but also the grunt units. You can play the fucking Ag in this game. <laughs> yep. Which, I mean, in terms of the games you play, you probably played somewhere you can play literally everything. I know you had that one video where you're playing the fucking the Jello tank. <laughs> it's like, yep. okay, that game probably beats GBO too. But in terms of like, <laughs> um, I guess. I mean, uh, um, okay. Let me let me see. Uh. Just for the for the hell of it, how many mobile suits does the GBO2 have? I can't give you the exact number, but I think it's at least over 250 or 300. Yeah, in that case, it probably dwarfs uh, Gundam Assault Survive. That one has like 310 last time I checked. Or 311, maybe. Uh, it'd probably be close then. But then, then again, you know, I guess we got about Operation Two. Its scope is just UC, yep. which is. Uh, I mean, this. I'm one, pretty sure this one is oh, basically ahead. UC up to, well, up to Shark's counter attack, and it doesn't include unicorn shit, but it has, uh, the Protag suits from Hathaway. I mean, the Penelope and the Xe Gundam. Then it just skips to F91. Like, it has the movie shit, except for uh, the Recon Mac. And I think it has uh, V2, V2AB, and the Gotra Latin from the Victory. Then it has some... I think it has most of the Seed roster, like the pre-rework run of the Seed, of Gundam Seed. So no perfect mm. uh, strikes, no... No reconnaissance, uh, Gen, none of that stuff. But uh -huh. it has, you know, quite a lot of it. And uh, yeah. I think it has most of the roster from uh, uh, Gundam 00 Season 1, which is pretty nice. Yes, yeah, so it seems like it has a pretty nice roster for what's going for. Yep. Uh, scope being large, it sounds like it's fine with what it's doing. But yeah, with like GPO2, in terms of like uh, um, mainstream appeal, it's definitely. Got a huge roster and definitely unique for what it's doing compared to a lot of mech games. Um, there's appeal there, and of course the gameplay with like the um, whole uh, 6v6 team thing going on. I'm sure that that gets a lot of people blood pumping. Yep. For a fact, it's a it's it has a lot more players than uh, Evolution. <laughs> than, yeah, than Evolution. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Evolution's like about 400 players. Like Jesus, what a uh, yeah. What the a downfall that, that came at, which is funny because they just recently came out with um, trailer for their newest season, which yep. as uh, I don't know how the fuck you say the name of it, Susano or something like that. Like it's uh, like it's kind of interesting to see it outside of VX versus and SDG Gen games. So at yeah, least yeah, it has yeah, that going for it, but yeah, I really, I really wish we got more. I mean, if oh, sorry for interrupting you. Uh, I just there gotta go. finish my train of thought. I think uh, that game should have gone the route of, you know, Unreal Tournament, stuff like that, because it's, it's a bit more fitting as opposed to, like, you know, a hero shooter, because yeah. the thing is, like, they, in the, in the, you know, the develop, developer notes, they did, uh, the, they did say something like, we want to make every suit, you know, useful enough to stand on its own two feet, to not need any crutches, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's hard for a roster in that kind of game, because you have to make everybody, they just have, uh, uh, have every grunt suit in the game because then there's be suits that just play way too similar. It's like, okay, what's the point? Uh, that's where GBO2 comes in. You really, uh, yep. really unique, um, 
where you know, they can probably change the damage properties or give them new skills and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think they could have gone with an Unreal yep. version of that, or like a Battlefield version of the game, which, all, I mean, we had that before. But so that basically game... a spiritual successor to... Uh... What's your Operation, Operation Troy. Operation Troy, exactly. Yeah, yeah, which I think would have been a lot better to go. The hero shooter is not a bad idea, especially with you know again the amount of unique suits there are in Gundam. Uh, this just feels kind of mis mishandled. Where yep. it's like the reason that I stopped playing is because the way they they've been nerfing and buffing things. It reminds me a lot of how Overwatch did things where. It's just like, nah, nah I'm good. <laughs> I think they just nerfed the. They just wanted to nerf the Zaku melee type just because. And I think they even said that. It's like, okay, I gotta know what the fuck y'all are doing. Which I mean, to be fair, this is the first Gundam game in a while. It's not a arena fighter. So, which I again, I want, I want some Gundam games that aren't just arena fighters. I'd like to have again, like an Unreal tournament or. Uh, fuck, a grand strategy game of Gundam 2. I'd take a grand strategy game, something like... Uh... Giron's Greed? Yeah, 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 but I mean, we don't get Giron's Greed nowadays, so I guess <laughs> yeah. return to Giron's Greed, return to Giron's Greed. I mean, it's uh, or maybe... they already had, like, the Shin Giron's Greed, so this will be, uh, this will have to be, like, Shin Shin Giron's Greed, the new, new... <laughs> the newest yeah, Giron's I... Greed, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how good Giron's... Shin Giren's Greed was, which I'm guessing maybe not that good since Giren's we didn't Greed, have any more. Shin Giren's Greed was dog shit. Yeah. They... Ah, okay, yeah, I figure because then we have more <laughs> Shin Giren's Greed two to five or whatever. Yeah, because they went all in on the you know BSB DLC thing and uh, it kind of blew oh. up in their faces. So you know, that's as it should. That was a fucking shame, man. I... I played Menace of Axis, it kept whooping my ass, but it was fun. I need more of that, I need my fix. I have no idea, like, uh, uh, exactly how it plays. Uh, it sounds like it's really interesting. Um, I heard they're doing a translation, but it hit a road, because yep. uh, I think oh, it's because of the yeah. way Japanese characters work, that yes. they, it's hard to like put English in it, because it takes up data. Something yeah, like that. It's a thing with textures, mostly. Yeah, mm. indeed. And, uh... Yeah, speaking of Gundam... How'd you... How'd you get your uh, moniker of Aqua Vengeance? Oh god, okay, it's gonna sound a little bit cringe. Uh... <laughs> So yeah, originally I just have the name Dongo Unchained on PSN, which that's a whole other <laughs> Django story. Django Unchained, where I know. Yeah, it's supposed to be Django Unchained, but I was like, I wanted to be funny, called Dongo Unchained. Uh, but Aqua Vengeance, I was like, okay, I need to come up with a name on YouTube that's just not Dongo Unchained, which I probably should have stuck with because it's a pretty good name. But uh, <laughs> uh, I thought about okay, if it's gonna be using, it's gonna have Gundam stuff in it. So maybe something... Gundam names are typically very weird, very uh, just silly sounding. You got Amuro Ray, you got fucking half the cast of Double O having really <clears throat> stupid names. Uh, yeah. So I was like, okay, how about a guy named Aqua, or maybe maybe that's his code name, Aqua Vengeance. <laughs> and the whole lore around Aqua Vengeance is that he is uh, a Xeon pilot, uh... I haven't got the details down exactly because I haven't really talked about this in fucking forever, but uh, essentially, um, he could work. He did he got himself enough to where he, you know, he's piloting a mobile suit. Uh, I think maybe during initial landing, Zeon initial invasion, and then somehow got himself into uh, doing uh marine stuff, or maybe he was already really good at marine stuff. During like I guess if they they're planning the planning stages of uh, Earth, he he showed really good uh, uh, um, movement or whatever. Uh, really good. Uh, yeah, he got good with the amphibious the stuff, and he got yeah yeah he, he's stuff. decent in amphibious stuff. They're like okay, we're just gonna move into an amphibious section. So yeah, they came up with his own team. That's he, awesome. Uh, yeah, they call Aqua Vengeance. And the guy's name is Aqua Vengeance. It was it's just like ah, I should probably change that at some point, but uh, yeah. So it's just Aqua Vengeance. The guy's name's Aqua. They don't know his real name because he keeps with the he keeps with the moniker. I think he has two or three other people that work with him, and they they help secure a bunch of uh, 
uh, or a lot of ground in terms of um, almost like a scouting party almost. But they help clear out maybe some bigger dangers like, okay, there's a, there's an aircraft here. We can take that out real fast. <laughs> help secure our position in the water. Uh, and that's, you know, obviously we know the for a fact that the Xeon definitely had a, had, had a ton of control when it comes to uh, uh, um, amphibious, amphibious combat. Yeah. yeah, amphibious warfare, and they had a lot of ground in that too. So, like, okay, so that, that's, a, that's a gray area that they don't really get into a whole lot, so I can definitely make a character for that. If I ever wanted to make it like a canon character, probably never happen. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Bandai, you want to tell me about that? But, uh... Yeah, and I think eventually, whenever uh, Abaku is about to happen, or they need more pilots for space, they went, "Hey, uh, yeah, you know how uh, I, gu- I guess you know astronauts they, they train underwater for for space sometimes." Uh, yeah, hey, go in, go in, you're coming to space now. Oh, okay. They send him to space, and then he gets his own Gelgurg, but oh, I survives thought... the. Huh? I thought he gets the Zgog from MS Eagle. <laughs> That'd be fun. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, he gets his own Gelgoog and uh, fucking he survives Abaku and then he becomes uh, I think this is where the lore kind of gets a little bit weird. Right? I'm trying to I'm trying to, again I haven't talked about it forever and I haven't really thought about it. But the essentially he survives and then goes into um, being a member of the Titans and obviously the Titans they really fucking hate Zeon so eventually he left uh, uh, the Titans, and then works as a uh, a junk suit dude. He goes off and goes do some junking shit, and you know he obviously has his Gelgoog edited all the way up, which I plan to make on the, my HD model kit re Gelgoog. I plan to edit that, uh, and essentially it's like a re Gelgoog with uh, some uh, extra weapons that aren't just re Gelgoog weapons. And he also has the uh, the Marine Gundams uh, uh, claw, you know the little claw harpoon they have. Yep. Uh, he has that on its wrist, so he can collect junk more efficiently, uh, stuff of that nature. And uh, yeah, he just becomes a junker and, and gets into a big fight uh, with some unknown assailants and uh, survives and makes his way to, uh, I believe, I remember the name of the colony, the colony that becomes uh, 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 the Victory Gundam colony that... Uh, Starts rebelling against the Federation. Eventually, still ends up. He goes into hiding in that in that area, right? Yeah, I see. No, that's a, that's eventually what happens. It's like I haven't really gone. Again, I haven't gone too much into detail or whatnot about that. But that's just get the kind of gist of it, right? Yeah. Like holy shit, you have like some deep uh, don't go lore, and I'm like, you know, I chose the. I chose the nickname of Shirt Lad because all of my uh, uh, nicknames and monikers thus far were like really fucking weird, like you yeah. know messes of letters and stuff like that, or stuff that would uh, like I think one of them was like an armadillo-related pun in my uh, you know native tongue, but I was like, yeah, fuck it, people will probably not give a fuck. At most they will yeah. just, uh, you know. At most they'll have like difficulty pronouncing it. So fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebrand this shirt lad. And, you know, it works for me thus far. I mean, yeah, it's not, fun. it's not as ha- hard to pronounce. It's like shirt lad, and you know, yeah, shirt lad. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. I usually, like, whenever I do make something, I uh, I like to make some lore regarding it too. Whenever yep. I have uh something, kind of like whenever I. <laughs> So certain games that let you do custom character customizations, yep. I always make more for them too. Like fucking Guild Wars, I had a email warrior called Manila Killer, which <laughs> sounds, <laughs> it's a really stupid name, but uh, she's supposed to be like some big badass. But but uh, it's fucking. Uh, I believe the profile picture is not actually Aquavenge himself. It's actually another character I made. I referenced I think once or twice in some of my earlier videos. I call a uh, Yeehaw Yankee. <laughs> yeah, Yeehaw Yankee's whole deal is that uh, he just likes piloting suits that have big guns on it. That's literally it. <laughs> like, yeah, it's Yeehaw Yankee. That's his name. That, that's it. That's all. That's around. awesome. So, uh, which is funny because, like, now because you know nowadays, like whatever, I'm getting more popular 
And uh, people just assume that the cowboy one is just Dongo or just uh, Aqua. But no, it's just <laughs> literally the name of the character is fucking Yeehaw Yankee. Um, so, I mean, nowadays I can probably just say, oh yeah, that's just Dongo. But no, that's his name. That, that's a guy named Dongo. <laughs> that's my, your interpretation of me. Because uh, a friend drew that for me. Uh, yep. Named Moggy. He I stream with him sometimes. Um, or he comes into our streams sometimes. Um, yeah, he's a nice guy. He does drawing, and I think other people have drawn some stuff. Um, uh, drawn Dongo, which was nice. Yep, including me. Yeah, yeah, you drew the one with. The, okay, I can't remember her name. Um, uh, the whole. <laughs> no <way. laughs> she's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> She's so perfect, bros. Yeah, yeah, his stream was pretty swift, and he has his own kind of fucking thing going on. Although his his profile picture is Marth, but he, he picked the boring route. He picked the picked the Smash Bros. character as his uh, <laughs> profile picture. Meanwhile, I gotta come up with a fucking 15-page essay about my character, my uh, my profile picture. I mean, hey, people like it when you uh, do stuff like that, when you're creative, and yep. I don't think enough people do that. Or, um, other kind of channels or whatnot. Which, I mean, there's some channels you don't have to. Like, if you're doing some kind of, uh, like, science channel where you just just give off details about, oh, hey, hey, this is what combustion is or whatever. You don't really have to do that, right? Yep. But if you got, like, a character, if you're, doing, if you're playing, like, a character, it'd be nice to have kind of play into that with stuff you're doing, you're posting or whatnot. Yeah. I'm basically you running on wacky-waving and flable arms flailing shirt, lad. <laughs> Yeah. Lord. It's a canon event. <laughs> it's uh, a canon <laughs> event. And I haven't seen that movie, but yeah, I definitely should look it up. I, I want to. Uh, I, I enjoyed the first movie because it's. Um, yeah, that one was pretty decent. Yeah, and for once it actually made Miles Morales his own character. He's not. Yeah. He's always like. A, they always kind of shoehorn him in into like Spider Man things. Um, but I heard this movie kind of, uh, uh, is it, or I heard the movie, the second, the second Spider-Verse movie isn't as good as the first one, uh, but it's still like, all right. Right. So I still want to check it out and, uh, at least just check it out and see what's going on with that. Uh, cause I did like the first one a lot. I'm just happy that they, you know, finally put the uh, Spider-Man 2099 uh, on the screen. Was, man. Yeah, Miguel. Yep, because uh, in my childhood I used to play a lot of Lego games, and over time I accrued quite uh, a large uh, amount of them. So I have like Lego Star Wars 3, Lego Harry Potter, etc., etc. Mm. And of course all oh, yeah, like of Lego the, superheroes. Yep, Lego Marvel superheroes, the Lego Batman trilogy, the fucking what you call it, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. In the Lego Marvel superheroes, I finally got my uh, Miguel O'Hara, um, you know, like five years ago or so, and that was oh. that was a blast, man. Yeah, so yeah, the Lego games are pretty pretty fun. <laughs> I yeah. mean, obviously they're kind of like oriented towards like some of the smaller uh, uh, <laughs> fucking kids. So I, I still I still fuck with Lego games. They're pretty fun. Yeah, <laughs> like, they, <laughs> they do make for like really good entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, they're just Often like simple, like, oh man, I love it, yeah, yeah. And, you just know, one of the perks of being uh, <laughs> a fucking artist that I enjoy is that every time I find, like, a simple game, I let the shit out of it, including the Lego games. So, so, like, for example, I know that in the first Lego game, there's three characters in the whole game that can lock onto your team, uh, onto, like, the second player. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, I think, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic, Future Foundation, Colors, and Dr. Octopus. And they have, like, semi-infinite range when you... Under certain conditions, so... And that, that was fun. Like, labbing yeah, stuff yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, so really fun game. you know, too. one's siblings when they... They were like, oh yeah, let's go for some PvP, and then you stun lock him with a freeze ray. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I think the most recent one I got was, uh, I think it was just Marvel superheroes. I didn't buy the second one. Uh, they're just really, again, they're just, they're just entertaining for what they are. You can just, 
they, they just there's games, right? It's not like some some games nowadays where it's you feel like some ulterior motive with the games. Yeah. Uh, Lego games just feel like Lego games. Yeah, Except for I think uh, nice newest Lego. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the the newest Lego Star Wars. I think that one people didn't like. Um, I have no idea about it though. I just know that uh, the it wasn't as well received as the uh, the other. I mean, all I know uh, about uh, that one is that it's uh that the like, control and mechanic wise, it's uh it's a bit closer to Lego Movie the Video Game Two, the game, and uh, uh and the Lego Worlds in terms of you know control scheme and gameplay. So that like you know the Star Wars game, I think I think that's the most recent Lego game, right? Yeah, I think so. Skywalker Saga, right? I think, yeah, yeah, that's the one that I was saying earlier that people don't like as much. Yeah, though honestly, like, if we got another Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars, it had the perfect fucking multiplayer mode, which, you know, could be also played on single player. I think it was like, I think it was called like, Republic slash Separatist Assault Mode slash uh, Arcade Mode and you could basically you know you had like those f small fields that you could capture and you could build uh, you know small spawners that you know popped out droids and vehicles and that's cool yes I have no idea about uh, that's the one of the ones I didn't play was uh, the Clone Wars one yeah and honestly if they bring back the you know, the silent storytelling and the uh, gag-based humor uh, from the OG ones. I'd love to see, like, a Lego game like that, but with Gundam. <laughs> like, for no apparent reason. It's so fucking fun! Yeah! To mess around in it. So, definitely yeah. will. I mean, <laughs> imagine if, like, they uh, did some, you know, weird-ass char jokes. Maybe. Yeah, they'll they, they definitely require, like... People that actually watch the shows and shit to like know that though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that the current Lego game people would be like, they don't even know what the fuck they would be doing for that. They're like, oh, what the fuck? Are you giant robots? Okay. Uh, think of like some games I played first, uh, or we played first. I played first. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I played first, but I know for a fact I had a Game Boy Advance when I was younger, and uh, I played the hell out of uh, Super Mario World. And um, Dragon Quest uh, Monsters. Okay, I didn't play Pokemon. I played Dragon Quest Monsters. Fucking the Pokemon wannabe. Um, <laughs> those, yeah, fucking Game Boy had some pretty nice, pretty nice fucking games too. Uh, Super Mario World, of course. Super Mario World. What was to say? It's a really, it's a classic fucking Mario game. Uh, oh my god! Speaking of Mario and Nintendo, did you see that new uh, Nintendo Direct? No, I. Usually those fly under my radar as well as a lot of new announcements. I just yeah, yeah, out normally about things I, after the fact. Yeah, yeah. Normally I don't care too much about uh, uh, announcements. They had a lot of shit look good. Like the new, uh, new Mario games is coming out. Mario Wonder looks funny. <laughs> after years of uh, new Super Mario Bros, that shit feels so much better looking. Um or it looks so much better. I believe they based it off of a the artist that does some of the Mario Bros. stuff nowadays. I think his name might be Nakoi, I believe. Um, like his Super Mario World art, uh, which I believe was... He also did art for uh, 3D Land, 3D World. And then you're kind of making that into like a gameplay style now, or gameplay style. Uh, the models look like that. It's very interesting. Uh, those has some other shit, too, like... Uh, Fucking, they're making another <laughs> Dragon Quest Monsters, which I just said, one of the games I was playing when I was younger, so I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, I'm definitely gonna play that. Uh, it wasn't just, uh, it wasn't that one direct where people made fun of it, because it was just uh, farming simulators, right? They actually had games to showcase. Fucking Super Mario RPG is getting a remake, or, uh, yeah, a remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it, which is, like, a never, ever, people would never would have guessed that would have happened. It was very interesting direct in terms of what they showed off, um, which is good because I need to dust off my fucking switch. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Yep. 
uh, actually, I think I got a question though. What made you uh, if you want to get uh, start doing all that uh, playing all those older Gundam games? Because I noticed you played some that like I haven't even fucking heard of. I mean, I'm I like them, and uh, yeah, that's uh, it's basically the biggest impetus for me to to get stuff in motion. Basically, you know, uh, yeah, the, part of it is just you know. Some out of boredom, even though you can't really, you know, like where I live, people kind of frown on the notion that you're bored when you're busy, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like you're doing stuff like yeah, writing down notes and like <laughs> yeah, you're you're doing like data stuff, which what is that yeah, all about? Make, I make giant fucking charts for stuff. <laughs> Because that's basically how I started. Um, like in, uh, I think, late 2019 or so, a guy was uh, kind of getting bored with certain games that I had. And, you know, I had a copy of Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. And you know, that's, a, that's a funny robot yeah, gladiator game where... Yeah, 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 I played that and beat it. It was nice. Oh, yeah, that, that's pretty keen. You know. And, uh, yeah, I... Uh, as I was m messing with it up, I'm like, you know, it's quite a shame that we don't have no robot games for PC. And I, I looked hard and far, and, uh, you know, decent robot games were nowhere to be found. I mean, you, ha you have Titanfall, but that's, it's like, <laughs> been you know. neglected. Yeah, yeah, yeah Titanfall been is neglected. Titanfall, and, I mean, aside from that, you have, like, well, cross out the robo deck, no ro robo craft. I think. I'm not sure if that game yeah. is dead already. I I don't know. Like, yeah, I played that a long time ago, and I got <laughs> bored of that shit. <laughs> Way too yeah, grindy. Same. I mean, after that, and... someone told me to you know go emulate shit. So I uh I looked up a lot of databases that you know have lists of Gundam games and. Limited release shit, etc., etc., and yeah, basically, you know, latched onto a couple of them. I uh, played them, I lapped shit out, and that's also one of the reasons why I do enjoy the Gaza C so much in uh, Gundam vs. Ada Gundam. It's like, you know, in GBO2, you, ha you have basically the Gaza C playstyle of uh, charging it up, then Hitting someone with the full uh, full charge knuckle buster and and just yeah, you know yeah, chasing yeah, them down with the uh, back beam guns, you know. And yeah. Gundam versus Ada Gundam, you can basically switch between the light mode, the weird as macros mode. <laughs> you know the one that's you like, get actual forms. Yeah, you get all three. You know you don't get just those two. You get yeah the girl walk mode. Yeah, it's a jobber unit. But you know it has its own gimmicks in every single game, and that's yeah, yeah. that's what draws me to it. I mean, in Gun and Battle games, it has a ton of burst damage because you can combo the shot from the knuckle buster from with the back beam guns. They have like double shots in that game. Yeah, you can do crazy stuff with that. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. We got like different kind of gameplay styles and. Yeah. Um, how to use a suit between each game. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Um, if I recall, uh, uh, the amphibious units were your <laughs> favorites. Yeah, yeah. I really, whenever I was getting into Gundam, I really liked the uh, the amphibious suits because they're just. I really like weird designs. Yep. Um, I'm obviously somewhat of an egg guy weird, guy, guy myself. Yeah, that guy's cool. I prefer like the the Zok, the Zok, the, the Hygog, um, the Egg, the, the uh, Egg guy, actually, like the, the Juwag. Yeah, yeah, you got Zog, Juwag. Zok and Juwag are probably my favorites of the uh, amphibious <laughs> suits, uh, just because <laughs> they're both as weird as hell. Uh, but yeah, that that extends into other stuff too, where I like the really weird designs, like uh, uh, Bondock, the O. A lot of Zeta suits are really weird. Humbravi. Yeah. The... Uh, Thalos Athene. Yeah, that one as Gaza well. Gazzy, yeah. Gazzy, this I is, do. Uh, the <laughs> the Gauss J. Yeah, I got a model kit of the uh, the O and the uh, the Gazzy. Um, nice. 
But yeah, I like the um, extends the watching other mecha shows too, like Dunbine. Uh, mentioned earlier, Heavy Metal El Guy, Armor Trooper Votums. Uh, Definitely need to of, see uh, Doug Rum. That... Yeah, Doug Rum too. I've watched Doug Rum as well. Um, a lot of, lot of uh, different different shows with different designs I really enjoy. Like uh, I talked earlier, before before we started streaming, I got some model kits of Votums and uh, 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 Heavy Metal Elgheim. I got the Elgheim and the Elgheim Mark II, uh, Scope Dog, Brutish Dog, Rapidly Dog. Oh, also got the, I forgot to mention, I also have uh, uh, the Berserga too as a model kit. Yeah, Berserga is oh. a pretty neat one. I mean, it, to me... Like when I was starting the when I was starting to watch Vodons, it always looked like you know Mr. Potato Head or I don't know how it's uh, called. You know that sort of when it came to the proportions, you know it looks like the traffic cone if you look at it from far away. Yeah, it's got that like elongated kind of head thing going on, kind of yep. like a cone head, cone head kind of shape. Yeah, it looks like that. the robot from the Alien ver uh, Aliens vs. Monsters, that movie. If yeah, you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it has a giant fucking pile bunker mm -hmm. in the shield. And, you know, ever since I uh, watched Mellow Link, I'm like, yes, I need I need more spikes on the, on the you know, on the robots pile that, bunkers. that extends, yes, I want to be the Anton Chigurg of Mecha. What's the most? Yeah, there's more, more power bunkers. That's all we need. Yes. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, free shit I got into because just from going off of Star Wars, going into Gundam, and now I'm in the big giant fucking mech. <laughs> mecha, mecha spiral. It's all older stuff too, which eventually I'll get. I'll, eventually I'll get to the newer stuff like Gurren Lagann and whatnot because I know that one's a classic for a lot of people. Actually, with how old it is, I think it does consider it's considered a classic now. Maybe, maybe I think. <laughs> I don't know. I get into stuff like uh, in really weird ways. I mean, I got into anime from like, like there was a magazine uh, that you know usually covers sci-fi, fantasy, and so on, and it had like one column on. Well, it had a little article about gunsmith kits. Now, those who know me uh, know that. I am quite the gun nut. So if uh, so, well, so when I saw like a chick with a file and you know big old big old bitties as well on top there, and I'm like, damn, I need to watch that. And you know, I'm unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, monkey sees action, neuron activation, and yeah, I I binged the whole. Uh, Free episode of VA, and yeah, Pretty good. It was fucking Kino. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, Gunsmith Cats. Gunsmith Cats. I'm gonna keep that one in mind. And uh, yeah, after after that one, it was like DXD, and <laughs> <laughs> I thank God I haven't watched that yet. You fucking degenerate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's something else I was gonna say. I'm totally for fucking. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm fucking so, doing shit too. I don't know. Random, random topic. Garma's fate. <laughs> oh. What reference are we talking about? I which, don't... <laughs> which Garma's fate? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't really work. We're talking on... <laughs> about the stream we did. I don't want to talk about that, Garma. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me upset. <laughs> you want to hate life. <laughs> I think I'm done with Garma's fate. <laughs> I've played through Garma's fate. It is truly Jover. <laughs> Billions must truly die. Jover. <laughs> yeah, journey to Jabro. Journey More like die. journey to Jover. Journey to Jover. Uh, yeah, fucking. You guys don't know what he's referencing. I had a stream with Pretty Swift. A guy I stream with often, and we it fucking journey to Jabro, and there's a mission uh, based on you know the episode of Garma's Fate. I think it was even called Garma's Fate, and it was one of the worst fucking missions ever. Is 
fucking terrible. It is a stupid ass mission. Or they just expect you. To, uh, I can't really get much into it. It's just fucking awful. I hated it. <laughs> at least I at least hated watching what was happening. It was just fucking. <laughs> it is uh, definitely not a high point in terms of Gundam games. That's uh, one of the <laughs> things that I wanted to ask you about. Uh, sorry for interrupting you. Oh, uh, like, you, you know, like going back to your channel and the stuff you make, like uh. You know, like the other day when <laughs> when I found you know the good old Dongo channel, at first I thought like it was, at first I thought it was like exclusively about GBO2 and stuff, and then I found the backlog of the of the various other games. Yeah, and yeah. I wanted yeah, to ask like, how do you get uh, into like into the like into like uh kind of, you know, keeping the main uh, content in GBO2, but kind of splitting off some of the streams, kind of diverting that from, to other entries. Well, this is kind of easy, where, like, I have a set set uh, 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 schedule going on, where it's like, okay, every Monday, at least, I want to get a video out every Wednesday, that's when a new suit releases for GBO2, so that's, that can be when a new suit releases. Um, Thursdays, I just let that kind of slide. Of Fridays, usually when initial thoughts for that suit to come out is uh, something there. And Fridays is whenever I do usually do a stream. And that stream can either be spectator stream, which you guys don't know in GBO2, or something called a spectator stream where you can uh, uh, watch mode, matches. Yeah. yeah, spectator mode. And uh, oh no, my leg came off. Uh, <laughs> well, my leg came off. My leg, <laughs> Malkin making his leg fell off. Uh, the I had a friend, you know, talking about Pretty Swift. Uh, sometimes, I I say sometimes every other Friday we'll do a stream of a random video game. Well, that's that's diverged even fa uh, even further. Where originally it was just uh, I was picking fucking mecha game to stream, but then now it's like okay, so every other Friday, so Fridays normally are spectator streams. The next Friday is a stream of Pretty Swift. But then that swaps between like uh, either playing a game I want to play or playing a game he wants to play. And we were supposed to do War for Cybertron uh, last Friday, but he recently got a job. That's going to throw uh, scheduling off in a completely different direction now. So, um, but yeah, usually every other Friday would be a different game, um, either mecha related or not. Uh, so yeah, it's just a simple fact of just scheduling, <laughs> scheduling. Um, what you want? Um, I know. I know. Usually, people aren't. They're not gonna be as interested in the other stuff. Um, so you know, it's fine to have at least a stream every now and then, do something different, just to kind of change pace and all that. Um, again, you know, like like I said, it's either gonna be Mecca or not Mecca. Um, for those Fridays, that is gonna be a spectator stream. Well, hey, that's GBO two related. I do other streams. They're just normally like. Um, for Sundays, which would be today, actually, uh, and <laughs> uh, Tuesdays, I'll do just chill streams, GBO2, but yeah, every now and then, again, every other Friday, it'll, it can be a mecha game, or just be a normal game, and, you know, every now and then, I might pull a surprise, and just stream an actual normal game for a chill stream, like I've done Metal Slug, I think I've done Duke Nukem at one point, I do like me some boomer shooters, and, um... The Votons, well... And, of yeah, course, double Votons. way one Sankey with, <clears throat> you know... <laughs> well and only the Redhead. <laughs> yeah. So, it's not just GBO2, so... Yeah, yeah, you can check the backlog. We did other stuff like Robo Custom and... Uh, uh, for the GameCube. And funny is, we mentioned Votums. We actually had streamed Votums twice, where... There's my playthrough of it initially, and then there's Pretty Swift's playthrough of it, which I was there to watch. Um, so there's two two playthroughs of the game on that channel. And, I mean, technically, we're going to return to it at some point, so there's going to be a, a fucking other... Uh, it's going to be Pat doing the EX missions and all that. Um, since, you know, if you beat the game, there's going to be there's yeah. extra content afterwards I'm definitely, regarding the OVAs. I'm definitely going to stream the Votoms games at some point, because I'm... 
I posted uh, a poll. They call mm. they call the you know bird app. And you know I I had a couple of ideas for the stream and you know I was trying to gauge like what people were interested in and like the first place was you know to try and fumble through the first armored core game that's what I streamed today. So next oh, week's nice. probably gonna be the PS2 volumes game. I'm probably gonna you know mess around in that. I mean I've played it. It's it's pretty fucking keen. You know, I I absolutely yeah, dig the roller skates and. Stuff like that. And hey, Votos is a great fucking show, dude. Yeah. Along with the... Uh, now, there are other games of it, but uh, honestly, the other games, if you're not very translator or non-translator friendly compared to other games like... Uh, you know, if you play the PS2 Votos games, you can kind of figure out where to go yep. and what to do. But uh, oh, let me pull out the other games real fast. There's some that are on the PS1. Actually, no, yeah, they're all, they're all on the PS1. But I do have the, uh, the SNES game, too. Um, ugh. yeah, there's the one I have on the SNES is the Battling Road. Uh, that one is definitely, definitely not uh, new, new player friendly, where, or at least a uh, non-translator friendly, because that is a SNES game. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's probably just just fine to play. Uh, it's just figuring out like what, <laughs> what's going on is going to be the hard issue. Uh, the other PS1 photo games. Get them out over here. <laughs> well, that's Pac-Man World. Um, the one that I believe it is called um, something with Udu. I know just from playing that that is uh, very hard to get into if you're the 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 the, the issue also Blue Knight Berserga too I Blue Knight Berserga um, problem with them is um, the way their menus are set up it's just very hard to uh, to know what you're doing I guess to know they're what all to do. in yeah they're probably all Japanese yeah I I can yeah, see they're, that. All, they're all well, yeah, the difference between this and uh, another game that's like all Japanese for their menus is the way it's kind of like stylized. Where also they're also hard as fuck to play too. They're PS One games. Uh, <laughs> yep. So it's just this is that combination. It's like, ooh, yeah, it's, it's, it's it can be a bit hard uh, 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 to understand and play. But uh, hopefully, maybe maybe somebody can translate that at some point. Those old, old games get them emulated uh, yep. uh, English version out. Uh, I, yeah, for JP only games, like some of them have patches, and in case of G Generation Portable, I just had to, you know, kind of force through it and get uh, some some things like down <clears throat> through just, you know, trial and error. Like, yeah, this does the yeah. finalize. Thank God the PSP emula emulator has a safe state mechanic so that I can, you know. <laughs> Yeah, which I guess that should be uh, a thing too. Is like, there's a lot of those those uh, Japanese games you can easily do trial and error for. Um, like the the PS2 Votums games. That one's uh, that one's really easy to figure out trial and error. Yep. Uh, what what they want you to do. There's some games that are just very uh, like, what the, f <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Giren's greed. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, what? How do I play this? What do I do? What is the, what is the game wanting me to do right now? That can be really hard to figure out. Um, some of those older games. Yeah. But yeah. One of these days, I'm gonna stream those other games. But eh, it's gonna be a while now. Anything else you got? Let me check. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> yeah. What's the what's the weirdest uh, like thing you did to promote the channel? <laughs> Like you ever did. <laughs> so honestly, I don't really have an answer to that. I don't. I don't think I've ever uh, uh, really promoted the channel like in any kind of. Well, besides like maybe if I'm on another channel, like you know, I did Rebel Beyond's interview, and I was like, oh yeah, my channel is Aqua Avengers, whatnot, whatnot, right? Yeah. Um, and nothing like weird, weird. Uh, I didn't like fucking twerk on camera. <laughs> <for> <laughs> Using nothing, right? No, I mean, like, 
you know, like usually there's like, you know, big sites that people, you know, promote their stuff on. Like, uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't, I personally, I... yeah, uh, can I, uh, may I? <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, uh, so, I, uh, I don't like using the bird egg. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a necessary evil when it comes to, like, <laughs> promoting oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. So, so oh, yeah, yeah, I, I uh, agree. like, one day I got, uh, I got bored. Um. I went to the, to a certain, uh, you know how there's the Korean basket weaving forums? Yeah, 4chan, yeah, we all know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then there's, like, you know, the farms, the uh, New, Ze New Zealand agricultural website. So I <laughs> so I went to the to the New Zealand agricultural website, and, <laughs> and I uh, went to the... You know, they have... <laughs> an, promoted your channel there. Yeah, they, uh, they have an off-topic section where... You know where they talk with you. Uh, uh, so I started the thread on old mech games, and I, you know, ten tangentially mentioned that I have a channel there, and like, oddly <laughs> enough, I did get quite the warm reception, and you know. Yeah, I imagine they have to be at least nice enough to. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I guess yeah. No, the... nothing like that. I mean, <laughs> uh, all I've done is just have a I have a Twitter. And, uh, yeah, like you mentioned, it's kind of a necessary evil. And then, uh, uh, um, uh, YouTube channel. That's pretty much it. Twitter and YouTube. Don't really do too much weird. Oh, I guess I do have a Reddit account too, but I don't really care. I really only use Reddit to look up news and GBO2. Like, I don't use Reddit for anything else because Reddit gives me fucking cancer if I try to look up anything else on it because Reddit is like a cesspool. Yep. I mean, uh, the, my short run-in with the Reddit was basically, you know, me making a, an account solely for looking up, uh, <clears throat> looking up Rule 34 stuff. <laughs> oh, great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, even the, the only good, didn't useful keep, thing for it. Yeah, but even the TDs didn't keep me th uh, there. Yeah, I was like, you know, like, you have the Dan Boru sites, you have the Pixiv, so <laughs> why bother at that point? Yeah, you got the lame titties on on uh, Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so it's uh, yeah. And again, again, the kind of answer to the question uh, again. Yeah, nothing, nothing too weird. Nothing, nothing. I didn't play like I didn't have like a Minecraft tutorial on porn or anything. Like <laughs> yeah, what the? I mean, that would be funny. Nah, <laughs> yeah, there's people that post like their Minecraft uh, playthroughs on porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny, and they, they get like millions of views too. Yeah, and. And I post like fucking rants about the G generation games on the same uh <laughs> on the same site that documents Christian lore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it for me then. Um anything else you wanna ask? Mm, I don't know, I'm starting to draw a blank, but I definitely had something in the notes, even though my notes are you know, pretty brief and <laughs> my notes are most, blank now. Yeah, for the most part, I was just <laughs> winging it. Though I did write down the Garma's fate to <laughs> at least get a rise uh, out of you. <laughs> yeah, again, that was a terrible fucking game. Well, <laughs> maybe okay, but yeah, that game is fucking boo boo. Anybody that plays Journey to Jabro, it's fun initially, but if you're playing that for like nine hours. <laughs> Oh god, Garma's fate is awful. What a fucking <laughs> shitty mission. And then I don't know how you're supposed to beat that that mission normally because you're supposed to like jump. What we did is we jump on top of uh uh Garma's gall, shoot it down. And then it was way it was efficient and you know, it was just efficient. And then turns out it's like how are you supposed to do this normally? Because we tried playing it like on the ground normally. It's just like really fucking hard. So how are you supposed to do this normally? Or are Japanese players just like Japanese kids just that cracked that they can just figure it out? Like <laughs> what the fuck is going on? How do you beat this mission without jumping on top of the uh, the gall? But uh, yeah, we figured, we we beat it. 
as we did. And we just, yeah, it just became a little bit of a meme now, where it's just, every time there's a terrible fucking mission, it's just, you say Garma's fate, or, so, or something, something fate. Fucking, <laughs> you know, it's called aneurysm, uh, an aneurysm. Yeah, that's yeah. the fun part, like, you play all the Gundam games, and you find the most dog shit <laughs> level imaginable, and, you know, I play old Gundam games, and I post the... You know, the Recon Zaku SD sprites <laughs> me, to the Dongo yeah. server and it becomes the <laughs> And it just single handedly becomes a meme overnight. <laughs> I need to spread it to other places now though. Then it'll become a real meme. <laughs> it'll come everywhere. You gotta spread it like a disease. Yeah. Like the bubonic plague. <laughs> Bonic SD. <laughs> yeah. Bubonic SD exactly. The SDSD. SDSD. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Oh no, I caught the recon, Zach. <laughs> I caught the recon. I caught the Scoobert. <laughs> Scoobert. I caught Scoobert. Alright. Should be it. Should be it. Uh, Got anything else? Alright. Got any uh, outro you want to do? And I haven't done this, uh, like, the overlay bar in a while. I mean, I, I was usually Damn. just sticking to the, you know, finishing the backlog. And I don't necessarily want to pull... I don't remember, like, who was the guy who had, like, a podcast with... Then then, then the numbers, like, went really up after he had had, had one guest, and then he was like... Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this and this next week, and it, you know, and it all went to <laughs> shit just because he doesn't know how to, uh, he didn't know how to schedule and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just gotta keep them coming, then I guess, you know. Yep. I find some guests in or get some common I mean, streams in. Get yourself a schedule should be yeah, good. But I definitely want to have like the Oli Oli Bada on on the show. That guy seems chilling, you know. He is Sorry, one of the uh, Oli Bada he is one of the remnants of the largely extinct uh, enthusiast press. Okay, yes I have heard yeah. of him so that's interesting. He writes on Forbes, he he does uh I think he does uh gunpla reviews for Hobby Link and He's one of the oh, few yeah. game uh, and video journals uh, journalists who you know who are still somewhat respectable. <laughs> that people care about. Yep. That aren't dickheads. Yep. That's good, actually. Yeah. See if you can do that, then get them on. Yeah, hey. I definitely want to try. <laughs> mm hmm Okay. So, yeah, if if you want to go for the, for the outro, well, why not? Okay, I usually just go with shirt layout signing out. Which, uh... Oh, damn. <laughs> what well, do you usually... Well, they ask me to do an outro. Oh, shit, okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to the oh, was... stop responding. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing. Fucking uh, Doggo Vengeance signing out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and God yeah, beat you to it. <laughs> and I guess I'll say if you guys enjoyed enjoyed the video. Like it, subscribe if you want to. Yep. He would really appreciate it. Uh, I guess gotten this far. Comment how you enjoy. Would you? What's your favorite segment? All that good stuff. <laughs> uh, check, check out Sherlock's other stuff. Playing a bunch of other fucking games, I probably won't even get around to doing because there's so much shit uh, to do. Yeah, man, I, uh, I'm still yeah, really be... new to the. Yeah, I'm still yeah, really, fucking... really new to the whole, uh, you know, CTA stuff and you know the stuff that that the uh, big YouTubers do with the oh, the big and small, you you know, the people who have been around the block for. A certain, a certain amount of time, you know, the please like and subscribe. I'm still getting into that routine. I'm trying to be subtle yeah. about it. 
Though, you know, at some point I definitely want to just, just for the hell of it, I definitely just want to go, you know, you see this, uh, y you know, like button, uh, go, okay, I, I'm not sure if that's, you know, if that, if the thing that I was about to say would g uh, get past the YouTube Jenny, so. <laughs> but... Press it already! You try to threaten people. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking video. <laughs> I don't know, like you know, go guess like the like button into thinking it has a, go a girlfriend and then uh, get it to sh no, <laughs> no, uh, no Christian stuff. <laughs> don't forget to molest the uh, like button. <laughs> molest the like button, everybody. Yep. <laughs> 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 This video end of it right there. Just end it right there. Don't forget to molest the like button. Yeah, I'm definitely. Bye, everybody. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs>